Hey the YouTube, this is JS Bounce Smart, and we're today on a brand new video for tutorials of JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Audacity and the recently released full version of Dark Audacity. You remember about a month ago or so, we took a look at Dark Audacity. It was something that I stumbled upon, and they had the starter version for uh, the audio editing software where you got basically half of the skin or the theme. That's what Dark Audacity basically is. Take a look at the website right here. I'll leave all the links in the description down below so you can customize your Audacity just like I am. Uh, here's Dark Audacity. It's basically a dark version and a really cool futuristic version of the current default Audacity. And this is basically the skin or theme. Now, uh, this actually got released just recently, I think August 25th. If we scroll down to download here, you can see that uh, August 25th, this was released actually. Uh, prior to this, they had a starter version, which is actually what we have now. If we take a look at this, we see that this is basically a starter version. We have the black and orange timeline. We have the cool little buttons, but uh, recently they released the full version, which you can now download. So I'm gonna take a look at it and give my thoughts, review it, I guess. And uh, I've always wanted a dark version of Audacity. If we took a look at my GIMP, I even have the dark version of GIMP. It seems like everything looks a bit better, on my computer at least, uh, through the dark version. So, that's why I thought it was interesting, that's why I thought I'd get it. And I've seen several people ask about a dark version for Audacity, just like there is for GIMP. And I guess this now satisfies everyone's want for a darker version. It's also great if you have trouble seeing the lighter version. You can always use the dark version here. As you can see, this is the dark version of GIMP. If you want to get a dark version of GIMP, I'll leave a download to the. I'll leave a link to the video in the description as well as on screen right now because I do have a video on that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and download this right now. Uh, you can look at the, look at the source code if you want. We're gonna click download Audacity right here. And here, the first one at the top, download Dark Audacity main content for the Windows installer. I'm not sure if this is for Mac. I have not looked into it that much, but uh, you can try to download it for Mac. I think there is. I think there's probably a link somewhere on the download page that says if you have a Mac, you can use it. Go next, next. That's fine. Next, and that's fine as well. Install. It shouldn't take very long. As you can see, even the icon changes here. So this is going to be pretty cool. Let's not launch it real quick. I do want to see the icon. As you can see, here's the Dark Audacity icon. It looks pretty cool. And obviously, we have to close this one. And would you look at that? This looks pretty awesome. Even the font is different. And this is basically... This is basically the most recent version of Audacity, just the dark version. And this looks really sleek and it looks really nice. Let's see if we can record something. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. So it seems to work. Everything seems to look pretty cool. Highlighting seems to work. I, I do think yeah, the buttons seem to look okay as well. Everything seems to look really good here. The uh, scroll bars are still the same, which is fine to me. But this is a nice alternative. If you're, if you're looking for a darker version, if you have trouble seeing the lighter version, numbers are a bit more visible now here at the top. They stand out more. The buttons stand out more as well. And I know, I know the uh, lighter version, sometimes it can be confusing with everything at the top here. Well, here it really shows you now. There's only a few buttons, really. You don't really need to get confused. You have your microphone, your speakers here, and your editing tools up here. Menu still seems to be the same, which is just fine. We don't need a dark menu. Uh, dark menu would have been cool, though. It would have been awesome if they had a dark menu. That would have been nice. I know that GIMP has a dark menu, so perhaps they can change this to dark and white text. That would be pretty cool. But other than that, looks fairly nice. Let's add another track. Let's see if it continues to add a stereo track. And it does. You can even tell when you have a track highlighted, it turns this darkish orange here, which is also pretty nice. So really good uh, update for Audacity. If you're looking for a darker version, here it is. 
I think it looks great. If you like it, you can download it as well. I'll leave the link to the website in the description below. And let me know what you think, if you think you like it. And uh, leave a comment down below thanking the guys at Dark Audacity for creating this. This is something a lot of people have wanted. And uh, if you're looking for a different theme or a different skin, there are several other themes or skins you can get for Audacity. I'll leave a link to that video in the description as well and the card and annotation on screen right now because there are, I think, three or four other themes you can pick for Audacity that aren't dark. Uh, they do follow the lighter version, but those look pretty cool as well. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found the video helpful. Any questions or comments, you run into any confusions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll definitely try to uh, answer the questions that you may have. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Lots of other Audacity tutorials, software tutorials, editing, video editing, image editing, all that kind of stuff. If you're interested, go ahead and subscribe. I also have a Patreon page. You want to donate a dollar to that? You can always do that. Anything as low as that is very much appreciated and uh, very helpful. All you got to do is click the card in the top right hand corner of the screen, I'll bring it to the page. If you want to check out my vlogging channel, gaming channel, music channel, or the advice channel, all the links will be in the description as well as on the end card. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always. And this is JSMOSMART. Know you're back. Sooner you think, don't go anywhere.